This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. A group of fourth graders at Eisenhower Elementary are taking their passion for rainbow loom bracelets and turning it into a way to help their peers. Camry Ray has more. Good morning, guys. I'm here at Eisenhower Elementary with Principal Warnicky. Yes. So thank you for joining us. I'm glad to be here with, with you this morning. Good. Well, we have a very special, special, special story. So your, a lot of your kids got together and they want to raise money for Iowa kids. Can you tell us just a little bit about what you have going That's on? Right. I have a select group of students, five on a committee, that decided that they wanted to have a special project to help students who are experiencing some difficult time. They wanted to support them um, with their pediatric oncology bracelet project. This is an opportunity for them to make bracelets and we're seeking donations from the public along with our school community. And then the proceeds from this project will help support those students who are in the hospital at the University of Iowa. Perfect, and I got to read a little bit about the project and you, you donate art supplies, sweatpants, just basic things that these kids need in the hospitals, right? Right. Uh, the students had an opportunity to go online and look at what the University of Iowa recommends their patients need, and then they prioritized those items that they wanted to make sure they could help provide for those patients. So not only if you donate do you get to feel good because you're helping someone, but you get some cool bracelets too. I saw some of them and they're like extremely intricate and I'm confused just looking at them. I have no idea how you would make it. So how many bracelets do you have? Oh my heavens. <laughs> We've had probably well over three to 400 bracelets and um, they've been very much involved in making all t types of designs. So as you can see, as you get a chance to visit with the students, there are lots of different designs and it's just been a wonderful project and it's supported by not only the students here at Eisenhower, but our school community and then also our city of Ottumwa. Perfect. Well, you know what? We are going to hear from some of the students after this and see some of their bracelets. So we'll send it back to you guys for now. Welcome back. Kamadi Ray is hanging out with a group of fourth graders on a mission to help others. Good morning, Kamadi. Good morning, guys. I'm back at Eisenhower Elementary, and I have some of the bracelet makers with me, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Uh, we're going to start down here. So what's your name? I'm Aaron. I'm Rachel. I'm Lucas. I'm Kennedy. I'm Elaine. Okay, so if you can remember that, then maybe you can make one of these bracelets. I just learned that they actually learned how to make these from the Internet. So Lucas is one of the best bracelet makers around, I hear. So how, let's, let's start from these, the, the smaller ones. How long does that take you to make? Um, probably five minutes to ten minutes. Is it because you're a professional or is it because anyone can kind of make them like that? A starter, probably 20 minutes. For me, it'd probably be five minutes. So you're a professional. So what about these? You have some that are really, really look difficult to make. Can you, how long can one of those take? Half an hour to an hour, oh. probably. So you're very dedicated. Very dedicated. So, and I know we were talking a little bit too during the break um, that you've you sold a good amount so far. Do you have any idea, kind of around, uh, maybe a roundabout number? Hundred or more. So you think that's pretty successful? Yeah. Definitely. So can I ask you too, um, what, we, I know we were talking to Elaine also, down here. Can you show me your favorite bracelet? This one, or the one that I'm wearing right now, which would be this one. Can you tell me maybe why they're your favorite? Look how crazy, look how crazy that one is. Well, this one I really thought was really awesome because it had the cancer ribbons in it, and this, this one, oh, excuse me, this one was also my favorite because um, I don't really know how to make them, so I wanted to buy one, but I don't have five dollars on me. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Here we have five dollars. We're gonna buy a bracelet. We're gonna donate. So, will you pick me out one of the five dollar ones? Ooh, they're all so cool. Oh yeah, I like that one a lot. So who made this one? My grandma. She makes grandma. Tons. She makes tons. She yeah. makes what? We're cousins. So We're cousins. We have the same grandma. Oh, look at that! You guys are starting your own family business, <laughs> right? All for a good cause. So can you tell me a little bit why you why you decided to do this? Um, it was just um fun to do because we like all to make bracelets, and um, it would just be nice to make them for cancer because you know it's sad that. People have. Of course, it's for a good reason, right? 
Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We appreciate it. And you can donate. Make sure you do donate because these kids are putting a lot of work into it. And their grandmas are putting a lot of hard work into it, apparently. So, okay. So, we'll uh, send it back to you for now.